Project Nerdy. Welcome to my kitchen. I just got home from work after, um, what did I, after a very long weekend vacation. It was 4th of July in the States. Sorry, Reb, that you weren't invited to that. Um, and so the boyfriend's birthday is July 5th, so we always do something extra special for 4th of July. And it was also his 30th birthday, so it was like a very long weekend, but it was super fun. Um, and then I had to go back to work today, which was uh, Wednesday, and it was not fun because work, oh man, work. So anyway, the point of the story is that I'm starving, and I'm going to make some rice. And you're going to watch me do it while I make this video because I didn't have time to make it earlier in the week like I normally do. We're talking about Ghostbusters, which I'm very excited about. I'm very excited for this movie. I'm a huge fan of the originals. Um, I watched it quite a bit when I was a child. It was always in the house. Who doesn't love that movie? It's so good. Um, so when I heard they were rebooting it, you know, I wasn't super excited because I'm not a huge fan of reboots to begin with. And then I heard that it was going to be an all-female cast. And I was like, mind blown. And then I found out that all of them are former SNL cast members, with the exception of the incredible Melissa McCarthy, who I adore. Um, so it was like extra, extra exciting. Um, so basically, I've been very excited about this reboot for quite some time. Add the chipotle seasoning to your rice, otherwise what's the point of eating it? I'm going to saute for a sec. So people are really upset about this Ghostbusters thing, and they saw the trailer, um, and, and, I, and I don't like to say, you know, it's very upsetting that they're women, and so a lot of people are very upset by this, but it's also, and I kind of get this, is that when you do a remake, you want to make it a little different, you know? And it seems like this is a complete rehash of the story. The trailer came out, people were very upset. They still are. A lot of people don't want to see this movie, and they're not excited about it. I am not one of those people. I'm very excited about this movie. And I really wish it all the success in the world, because people have been so terrible about the trailer. And it's like, you haven't even seen this movie yet. Why are you so upset about this movie? I melt that butter. So my only other really big problem with this movie is that they had a really great opportunity to cast Leslie Jones as someone other than like an angry, stereotypical black woman. Um, they could have made her the physicist or made her one of the smarter characters and instead she's smart in her own street way, you know? And, and Leslie Jones plays that character really well. She really does a good job and makes it funny on SNL. But sometimes, you know, when you're trying to break the mold and um, make women the main focus of a Ghostbusters movie, which is predominantly, like, male um, before, you kind of want to branch out a little more than that. But um, Leslie plays that character really well, so I can't really say much about that. And she agreed to play that character, so there's also that. Um, she's She's allowed to make that decision. I hope everyone had a really great 4th of July, um, including you, Reb, who didn't really get to celebrate 4th of July as we did here, but I still hope it was a good one for you. Oh, my nerdy pleasure this week was buying the Dementor Pop Vinyl. It's adorable. I'm so excited about it. And my question for you guys is what nerdy movie of the summer are you looking forward to seeing that isn't Ghostbusters? Um, not a nerdy movie, but I'm really looking forward to Dave and Mike being wedding dates because, oh my god, Aubrey Plaza and Anna Kendrick. It's all, oh, it's sizzling, it's gonna be good. Bye, nerds.